Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to deploy an image using the Microsoft Deployment Toolkit 2010. And I'm going to do this virtually using a VMware player environment. I already have existing a 2008 server which is acting as a domain controller and I've got a Windows 7 virtual machine running in VMware player that actually has my Microsoft Deployment Toolkit and my distribution share installed on it already. So the next step if I want to deploy an image to a new VMware Player virtual machine I need to double click on VMware Player and open up my VMware Player. Inside of VMware Player I need to choose create a new virtual machine. I don't have a DVD I'm going to use to boot the computer off of using PE. I've got an ISO image saved to my desktop. So I need to browse for the image and if I highlight desktop I can select the lighttouch PE underscore x64 dot ISO disk image file. I created this file using the MDT 2010. So I'm going to open that image and then click on next. This is going to be a Microsoft Windows operating system, uh, x64, 64-bit, and then I'll click on Next. I do not have a product key for this operating system. I'm going to use it without the key. And I'm going to leave the full name of BK Lab as is, and I don't care about inputting a password at this point in time. So I'll click on Next. The virtual machine name is going to be bk cl target. You may want to call it CL2 or CL3. I'm identifying it as CL target so I know that this operating system is a target image from my MDT 2010. And the location is going to be the default location in my documents in virtual machines and it will be in a folder called BK-CL target. I'll click next. The maximum disk size for me is 40 GB. I've got a large disk drive I'm going to leave at default. If you've got a smaller disk drive you may want to decrease this size. And I'm going to store my virtual disk as a single file and click on next. I now have a summary page and before I click finish I want to customize my hardware. I've got plenty of memory so I'm going to let this virtual machine run in two gigs of memory. If you don't have as much memory you may want to dial that down. I also want to set my network adapter to host only networking which is how my virtual environment is set up to operate and then I'm going to click OK. I'll now click finish and this will launch the VMware player that we've just created and we are going to boot from the PE disk that we've loaded as an ISO image in the DVD-ROM file. I'll come back to you when the PE disk is booted and we're ready for the next step. I now have the welcome Windows deployment window and I would like to run the deployment wizard to install a new operating system instead of running the Windows recovery wizard or exiting to a command prompt. So I'm going to click on run the deployment wizard to install a new operating system. I now have to type in the credentials for connecting to network share. So I'm going to type in administrator which is the user account I'm using for this presentation and then I need to input a password for administrator and then I need to type in the domain name which is called Contoso and click OK. I'd like to select a task sequence to execute on this computer and the task sequence is Windows 7 Professional Deployment. This task sequence I created using the MDT 2010 and this sequence specifically is going to configure the partition as well as format it with NTFS. So I'll click on Next. I now need to configure the computer name and my computer name is going to be called BK-CL Target. And I'll click on Next. I would like to join the computer to a domain so I'll put a bullet point in domain and I'm going to type in the name of the domain which is Contoso. The credentials are already there and I'm not going to join any specific organizational unit. The default container called computers is good enough and I'll click on next. 
I do not want to restore user data and settings so I am going to leave the bullet in the default location. If I had user data and settings from a network location I could choose this bullet point and put the location where my previously saved USMT data files existed. So I'll click on next. I'd like to leave the language set to English and the time and currency format also set to English and the keyboard layout is also set to English so I'll click on next. And the time zone in which I'm operating is actually in central time so I need to locate central time and click on next. I now need to input the password for logging onto the computer after a restart. So I've input a password and I'll click on next. And now we are ready to begin. If I'd like, I could click the down arrow and review the details. So I'll click on begin. This is going to take a little bit of time. So I'm going to fast forward and I'll be back to you at the next step where we need to interact with our virtual machine. Welcome back. The installation has progressed and we're now prompted to type your Windows product key. If you recall from a previous video, we left the product key out of our deployment image. I still don't have a deployment key, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this blank and click on next. We now have our operating system in front of us and it's continuing on with the installation process. We need to choose the network where we currently are located and we'll call that the work network since we have a domain environment. So we now have an operating system and let's just poke around and understand what it is we have. If I click the start button and go to control panel and choose system and security and then choose system you will see that I've got a computer name bk-cltarget and the full computer name is bk-cltarget.contoso.com because we joined the Contoso domain as part of our image deployment. One last test I always like to do when I'm done deploying an operating system is to launch a command prompt and I'm going to ping my 2008 domain controller. By doing this, I'm testing network connectivity, and by golly, I do have network connectivity. So I'm going to exit out of the command prompt and look at my deployment summary. The computer is now ready to use. So we have successfully deployed an image using the Microsoft Deployment Toolkit 2010. This concludes the demonstration on how to deploy images using the MDT 2010. This is BrickHouseLabs.com. I hope you've enjoyed this video and will enjoy future videos. Thank you very much. Have a great day.